the minimal showings at first are actually adding up. So it looks like we're getting somewhere. We're definitely going to have enough to power the, uh, the forestry device for a while. Uh, we'll see how long. Um, but it's still pumping. Uh, and rather than stack more tanks on top, I thought it was time to get the refinery going. So we're going to need uh, a couple pieces of um, wooden transport pipe made waterproof with the pipe waterproof, which is just cooked cacti uh, uh, that then you place in a crafting table. So let's place that there and let's connect it with the refinery with a a uh, piece of stone waterproof pipe. I, I believe gold waterproof pipe is recommended for flow, but um, you know, our needs are minimal enough. It seems like this is doing us just fine. So let's put a redstone engine there and then let's power it up. So we need some more sticks and let's make, actually we'll need at least two levers. So let's make those right now. And, okay, get that going, and let's see if we actually get oil moving into the refinery. Uh, that looks good, and that's doing it too. Apparently, I think both of these can fill with oil. So that's good. Uh, let's see if we can do this before we need to add more glass to the top of that, which I'm prepared to do if I have to. Now, we need to power this, so um, let's get uh, our first combustion engine down. And I think we'll need two for this, so let's put that down too. Um, and I got uh, some gold conductive piping. This is going to be my first use of this, so I'm going to do a shift right click. Get that, and where's our little wrenchy wrench? Uh, right there. And let's turn this around. Uh, it's not happening. How did he do it? Let's see if we take that off and put it back. Still won't do it. Hmm. Well, hopefully that's going to work for now. And this is going to need to connect to there. So hopefully we're not losing any energy in that kind of short run. Um, now, that's full. That's getting full. I'm getting nervous. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some more tanks on that. Um, and then we'll continue with this. I probably don't need to, uh, but I want to. I only had enough sand, to, or glass actually, and sand, to make one more. Actually, I have more sand, but I was saving it for the fertilizer. Uh, we'll put that on there for now. And I've got more stone being macerated into sand. Um, I could always turn it off over there, <laughs> but I don't want to. And you know what? If it fills up, it's not going to overflow. The pipe will just fill up. Um, so time to get these kicking. Uh, we're going to want to put fuel in them eventually, but we've got to start them with a bucket of oil. Can I pull a bucket of oil from here like that? I can. All right. So... We're going to put a bucket of oil. Ooh, no. What a mess. Okay, let's get that back. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know it would do that. I think we need to get into the interface first. There we go. Okay, and I think the oil goes there. Or there. Or there. There we go. Like that. So we're going to give that one one bucket of oil. And we're going to give this one one bucket of oil. And we don't need it yet because they're not going to get hot right away. But uh, we're going to put some water in them too because we don't want an explosion. So there's one water bucket. Two water buckets. Uh... We can just watch the color on them and make sure they don't get too hot, too quick. Um, put that in there. Get our bucket back and put that in there. Get our bucket back. Uh, and 
I'm going to need a little bit of redstone to get these going. So let me grab that. Redstone and redstone. And a lever. Should be enough to start these up. Now I really want this one to turn over like dire wolves are. Um, don't know how to do that. Uh, hopefully this will be fine. Giving them a redstone signal. And it's not turning on. Oh no. <laughs> now if I break them, am I going to lose my stuff? Or what? Why did it do that? Arg. Arg. Oh, and I am full, full, full. Uh, well, that's good. Uh, I'm going to try to figure this out. Because this isn't working. <laughs> I might lose my first two buckets of oil. We'll see. Well, when I put the lever here, it started working. Uh, apparently, the redstone signal wasn't doing nothing. But this is not getting power. So, let's... Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of this. We're going to lose what's in it, unfortunately. And put our gold conductive pipe in here. And it's not working. Hmm. It's supposed to work, and it's not working. Um, that is not what dire wolf showed us so and uh, you know i found this before the electric engines also can't seem to be able to power the uh, golden conductive pipe directly for some reason it's something to do with feed the beast so let's just put these facing the uh start with one so i don't lose more oil let's just put them facing the refinery directly and of course i need to put fuel in, in it again. So let's grab another bucket of fuel and get into the interface here. Give it that bucket. And up, oh, we've got some motion. So apparently it's going to take two of this, two of these to fuel this thing. Let's see if we can do it like that. And what happens if that gets a redstone signal? Uh, what happens if it gets a redstone signal going directly into it? Nothing. All right. Also not according to the tutorials I've seen. Something wrong with that. Um, but we will adapt and give it its own lever as well. Which is not working. Okay, we're going to lose another bucket of oil. <laughs> These things are not working like they're supposed to. Uh, but I guess supposed to is a relative concept. Uh, we will do it like that then. Because we know that works. Get another bucket. Oh, I got two buckets. And we'll just got to be really careful to keep our eye on the color of these engines not let them get red and we are getting some fuel so next thing these will get is some fuel um, oh this one needs power or redstone signal okay so i wonder why the gold conductive piping is not working but it's not an issue right now Although that is a valuable power transmission tool uh, for this mod. Um, there was also some creepers back there not too long ago. So I pushed back our area of influence with some torches. Because um, uh, that would be really bad. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go sleep. Well, these are running. We're getting some fuel in there. Um, we don't have a way to pump it out yet. A place to store it. Uh, before I do that, I want to worry about cooling these things off first. Um, so, what would happen 
if I put some of the, uh, not that one, but this one, some of the stone waterproof piping right there. It connects to both of them. That's good. So let's get something to, to pump water into these guys. And instead of a pump, I'm going to make an aqueous accumulator because apparently they're more reliable. So let's see what it takes. And they're kind of a cheaty device, apparently, um, because they don't actually need any water. <laughs> but they don't bug out like the uh, uh, like the, the, the pump can sometimes. And it needs some really weird stuff. A pneumatic servo. Okay, that's easy. Um, and a machine frame. That's easy. Okay, so we need gold, iron, glass, um, redstone, iron, and glass. Okay, so, oops, wrong one. Uh, here we go. We got glass that was being made while we're doing all this stuff. So we need that. Uh, we need some gold, probably not nearly that much. And we need some iron, not nearly that much. And we should have most of what we need. Uh, do we have redstone on us? We do. And then what else? Uh, tin. I need tin. Do I have tin on me? No. So let me put the waterproofing back. Make a little room here. Let me just get rid of this spider string. Uh, hopefully we're not getting too hot out there. I doubt it yet. Uh, let's get rid of that. And we don't need those seeds on us. Um, and then scrap some tin. But nope, I always go to the wrong one because it used to be the gold one that we stored uh, this kind of stuff in. Okay, so let's make them now. That, okay, let's do the machine frame first. Give me that. So, and we're going to make uh, two of these just to be safe. So let's do that. And that's iron, I believe. So let's do that. If it's tin, we'll find out. I think it was iron. Yeah, so we've got two machine frames. And then the other piece of it was the pneumatic servo. Let's give us the recipe for that. Those two. Iron, iron. Oh, glass on the two sides. Okay, wait, so we've got our two nomadic servos. No big deal. And then I've got buckets on me, luckily. So I'll give you two buckets. Four glass. My two machine frames. My two pneumatic servos. And four tin. And we've got two aqueous accumulators. I don't need, know if these are going to need the uh, wooden waterproof or not. Um, let's see, let's put this back since it's useless. And let's just grab one of these just in case we need it. Sorry, my mouse was getting caught up on stuff there. Uh, okay, so we've got two waterproof pipe. We've got some stone pipe. Um, I always use gold conductive pipe for this, but I just don't think... We need it. Okay. We're still in the blue. That one's getting to the green. Um, building up fuel. Uh, let's just let that one cool off just to be super safe. And let's make a, um, a infinite water source here. I don't even think we need it for these. Um, cause they just accumulate water without being in water, as far as I've heard. But just to be safe, we're gonna put them in this pool. Uh, that should do it. Um, they'll be right next to each other. Uh, should we give them even more room than that? What the hell? Let's be really safe. Okay, and then one of these is going to go there, and one of them is going to go there. Okay, and they're going to be surrounded by a whole bunch of water source blocks. So let's go get those. 
over here. And put it together. So there goes that one, that one, and get these. Let's see if that gets us not quite all the way to infinite spring everywhere. Let's move one here. And we can grab one from there. Oh. Where'd it go? All right, let's grab it again. Put it over there. Okay, so they're surrounded by infinite springs. Uh, not sure if they're going to need to be redstone powered or not. Uh, let's put these on them. No, shift right click. Will that do it? Yes. Oh, and they don't need a pump. That's awesome. And we're just doubling up for safety here. Totally unnecessary, but, uh, you know, I've just been made to be paranoid about uh, combustion engines and their capacity to blow up. So then we're going to connect to this. Uh, let's give ourselves room to walk under it, say. Okay, yeah, let's bring that over to here. Boom. Now, these should fill up with water. There we go. We got our first water in there our first water in there. So now we're really good to go. And when that oil runs out in there, we're going to go all the way to fuel. Um, now these are supposed to go green when they're good to go. Um, but let's see what happens. Let's wait until these warm up and see if we have enough. But we should be safe. As long as a creeper doesn't blow this up or something like that. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, this is all temporary. Now, as far as uh, storing this fuel, um, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to uh, be a little bit safer and actually store that underground. Go a little bit more towards permanent sea and build an underground supply area for these farms. Um, ultimately, I think I'm going to need the iron tanks from the uh, rail railway mod. Um, but for now, uh, maybe we'll keep it glass. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to look into what it takes to make an iron tank because they have a lot more capacity, but it also uses a lot of iron. So I'm going to look into what I need for that uh, while we start here. Thank you.